Well, hello, friends. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you who may be watching this pre-recorded morning prayer on this Saturday, January the 1st, 20 and 21. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It is a new year. 2020 is now behind us. Well, I'm recording this on December 30th, Wednesday. But by the time um, you all are watching this, and I'll be watching it on Friday morning with you all, that will be a new year. And it blows my mind to think about that. You know, it was a long year, to say the least, and very eventful year. We've gone through a lot as a community and as just people, um, just humans. We've gone through a lot this past year, but one of the highlights, one of the gifts, undoubtedly, were, was this morning prayer group, being able to um, meet and be together and pray together and hear from the scripture um, day in and day out. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being faithful. And thanks for making this um, you know, small community within our community possible. Well, let's begin. And as we begin, let's turn to this image, Christ in his parents' house. What I love so much about this image, my friends, is the fact that, you know, we see Jesus at the center of this image. And we also see, uh, well, I see three people that I recognize who is um, standing around Jesus. Well, first of all, right next to Jesus, we see Mary, his mother, kneeling before him, showing her affection toward her. Um, a woman who became pregnant of God's baby um, as a virgin uh, woman. Uh, it's just fascinating to think about. And then on to the right side, we see Joseph, who is a carpenter, a foster uh, father of Jesus, holding Jesus' injured hand. And then next to him, uh, to the far right-hand side of the image, we see another kid who is a little bit older than Jesus, seemingly, um, who is believed to be John the Baptist, according to the artist, who grows up to be the prophet who, is, who speaks out in the wilderness, um, preparing people for the coming of Messiah, the Savior. And what is truly fascinating about this whole scene is the fact that these three folks have seen Jesus since he was an infant, since he was just a little child, and yet to still believe and trust that he was sent from God, that he himself was God who came into the world to save us, to be able to still believe that what faith, and obviously we're not revering these three friends here in this image, but I think we can be reminded that we have great company in our faith journey. These wonderful three friends who point us to Jesus, who is obviously at the center of this image, and we are also called to point others around us to Jesus. And I think that is you know, certainly something that we can continue to celebrate as we uh, reflect on Jesus' birth and his coming into this world. What Christmas joy. So with that, let us begin. Jesus, the light of the world, has come, my friends. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And here are these words from Psalm 95. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his for he made it. In his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and worship let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, the flock under His care. And now our invitatory psalm comes from Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth! You have set your glory in the heavens. 
through the praise of children and infants. You have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and all the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now our New Testament reading comes from Matthew chapter 25, and it's a longer passage. The Sheep and the Goats when the Son of Man comes in his glory, this is Jesus talking, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. And with Jesus talking, let me put the image back up and start all over again. Jesus growing up to be the one who speaks truth. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. And they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Friends, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And as we pray together, I will leave this image as a reminder that Jesus is at the center of all of life, and he listens to our prayer. Eternal Father, you gave to your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be the sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart, we pray, the love of him who is the Savior of the world, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. On this day that the Lord has made, we pray for our day and its tasks, the world and its needs, for the church and our life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the president, for members of the Congress, and for members of the military. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace and justice in the world.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work for reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all whose lives are devastated by war and civil strife. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for prisoners, refugees, and the homeless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this season of Christmas, we pray for the church, especially in places of conflict. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you that you hear our prayers. Be near to these and all people because of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has come for us. Amen. Now let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And would you hear these words of blessing as you go, as you stay. And let's continue to celebrate the coming of our Lord Jesus. The grace of our, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit fall upon us all and may we live with the grace and peace and joy and gratitude that he gives us amen and friends it is not time in our morning prayer to receive the peace of christ and pass it on to each other what do you think as we think about the past year of 2020 and as we enter 2021 what do you think could be one of the things that people need the most and I think it could be peace, peace in our minds. So let us receive it from our Lord and pass it on to each other. May the peace of Christ be with you all, my friends. And tomorrow there will be another pre-reported morning prayer session uploaded um, in the morning. And we will see you live um, after that. But hope this is a gift. All right. Bye, my friends.